Nepal, a landlocked country geographically located between India and China, has no proven source of petroleum products. Due to the easy access of roadways to India, Nepal has been importing a major portion of commodities from India. Petroleum being a lifeline for infrastructural development and as a developing country, Nepal strongly lies upon India for the smooth supply of products required to cater the nation's demand. Nepal Oil Corporation, which was established in the year 1969 by Nepal government, has been the sole trader, government agent of all the major petroleum products in Nepal. From the past 40 years, Nepal Oil Corporation has been importing petroleum products from its strategic partner, Indian Oil Corporation. Nepal Oil Corporation has been importing petroleum products from Indian Oil Corporation's depot in different locations of India through oil tankers via roadways. Nepal imports a major portion of petroleum products via Amlek Gunj depot, which receives its supplies from Indian Oil Corporation's depot at Baroni and Raksal depot of Indian Oil Corporation. The process is not as easy as it is supposed to be. The traffic jams at the customs of border, course roads, and the fluctuating demands and supplies often causes hindrances in the smooth import of petroleum products, resulting in a chaotic situation across the nation. The Concept 2 underground petroleum pipeline was conceived almost 20 years ago to address the aforementioned issues through the most modern ways of petroleum import and distribution. A historic G2G agreement was signed on August 24, 2015 between India and Nepal for the construction of a 36.2 km long Raksol Amlekkanj underground pipeline. It is believed to be the lifeline for the smooth supply of petroleum in Nepal, which is also a high esteemed national priority project, having a budget of 4.2 billion Nepali rupees, with Nepal bearing 1.2 billion of the total budget, while the rest being invested by the Indian Oil Corporation. Delayed by various unavoidable circumstances, this project is now smoothly running in the full fledge. A total of 3,141 pipes of 12 meter length each has been brought to Nepal for further welding and other engineering works before laying underground on the administered pathway. Pipes are now being welded and attached together to form the mega structure. The local people of underground pipelines pathway are also highly excited to have this project in their region as the significant fleets of petroleum tankers will decrease resulting the lesser traffic jams, pollution control and other various direct and indirect benefits. Quality control and technical loss of petroleum due to evaporation and handling, which have been major issues for Nepal Oil Corporation, will be addressed forever soon as the project starts. After the completion of underground pipeline project, Nepal will be receiving 294 kiloliters of petroleum products per hour. And the operating machines can run throughout 24 hours a day without facing any obstacles of the present day supplying mechanism. Nepal Oil Corporation is also eyeing to further extend the pipelines to Chitwan, Sarlahi and Kathmandu Valley in the coming future. This project will not only ensure smooth supply of petroleum between Nepal Oil Corporation and Indian Oil Corporation, but also further strengthen the historical relationship between India and Nepal. This pipeline project will avoid the burning of diesel to transport diesel from one place to another place.